Hello guys and welcome back to chemistry class and of course as evident on the board we are going to continue our study on the topic acid bases and salts on this episode of chemistry and we are going to be looking at specifically salts for today all right so this is like the concluding part of the topic i'm going to look at salts and then look at how salts are formed in the last episode of these uh, acid bases and salts if you have not joined us in any of the episodes from the beginning please go and start from the definition of acid and bases and what join us up to this point where we are talking about sorts all the videos are on this channel in the previous episodes do not forget that this video tutorial of course is brought to you by the best cbt practice app available the old three schools jam cbt practice app it is all you need to succeed in your jam it has all the past questions that you ever need to study past and recent questions all right and of course it has uh, uh many modes there's a practice mode there's an exam mode there's a mock mode right that can use the word to test yourself another wonderful feature that may that may want that may want to make you jump on the app right now is the utme challenge utme challenge is a challenge that will conduct every week till one week to the exam to the main exam till one week to the main exam we'll conduct it every week students win prizes and you're competing with other jam by that are writing jam for the particular year so imagine yourself participating in weekly challenges about what your 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 four subject combination you will see that what uh before the end of that challenge you have already well done yourself a great deal because you're able to know your strengths and your weaknesses and you're able to improve on your weaknesses i don't know i do not want to talk about the, the app so much because we have something on the board to study but of course know the activation for the app is not free the activation for the app is three thousand naira as opposed to two thousand five hundred naira in the previous years right it's maybe increased in further years so make sure when you jump on the app right now and activate all right so now let's look at sorts what are sorts first of all to start with right sorts uh, are compounds or a salt is a compound that is formed when all or part of the replaceable hydrogen ions in an acid are replaced by metals or ammonium ions i'll put that down right you say a salt is a compound formed when all or parts of the replay replaceable hydrogen ions in an acid right are replaced by metals or ammonium ions all right so definition is very very easy as you can see say a salt is a compound formed when all it could be all or it could be parts of the replaceable hydrogen ions in an acid are replaced by either metals can either be replaced by either metals or can be replaced by what by ammonium ions as simple as abc so just look at the key parts here when all he said that when all or parts of the replaceable hydrogen ions in an acid are replaced by other metals or ammonium ions so it's a simple to go definition that you don't want to stress yourself about all right now there are so uh, that, that up to five types of salt that we're going to discuss uh, discuss in this uh, in this video all right but uh, in the in this particular episode i'm going to talk about three of them in the next episode we'll talk about the other two because they're kind of complex and bulky all right now let's talk about let's see the type of salt that we have we have number one we have what to sort of call normal sorts we have normal sorts normal sorts for example your the salt use at home is a normal sort right sodium chloride nacl is a normal sort right we have other types we have acid acid salts right then number three we have basic salts right number four we have complex salts then we also have number five what's called double salts all right so these are the main types of salts or the five types of salts i want to discuss discuss what's in this what tutorial all right so but for this class i want to talk about the first three in the next class we'll talk about the last two and then we'll talk about how salt are formed and we are done with the full topic acid bases and salt and wherever they will sell question from right if i watch any of these videos 
you are free to go you are good to go but right now let's see normal salts what are normal salts so five type of salt normal acid basic complex double those are the type of salts we have now let's see normal salt to start with what is a normal salt a normal salt is a salt that is formed a normal salt normal salt all right a normal salt is a salt that is formed when all when all all when all remember in the definition of an of a salt we say when all or part of the replaceable hydrogen ions right have been replaced by metal or ammonium ions so uh, normal salts are formed by the what by the replacement of all the replaceable hydrogen ions let's put that let's put that down normal salts are formed right by replacement replacement of all of all of all of the replaceable hydrogen ions by metals all right so normal salts are formed by replacement of all the replaceable hydrogen ions right in an acid sorry in an acid in an acid by metals all right so a normal salt is a salt that is formed when all the replaceable hydrogen ions right in an acid are replaced by what by metal or by are replaced by metals all right so that's what those are what normal salt Normal salt are formed by replacement of all the replaceable hydrogen ions in an acid by what? By metals. Usually, normal salt have one cation and have what? One anion. All right. So these are what normal salt. They have one cation and one one anion. These are ways you can easily what identify normal salt. Example, of course, is your sodium chloride. Sodium chloride. You call the one you call NaCl. This is your common salt, the one you use what at home. Sodium chloride. We also have another one called uh, potassium triazonitrate 5. Is potassium potassium triazonitrate 5. Right? Potassium uh, triazonitrate 5. All right. We also have, of course, the last one. Then, uh, last example I will, I will, for this tutorial we will be what CuSO4, which is what copper two. You can just say copper sulfate or copper two tetra ozo sulfate six. All right. So these are all what normal salts. They are formed by replacement of all the replaceable hydrogen ions in an acid by what by a metal or by metals. All right, you can see, you can see here. Uh, this, this is what is a metal. Sodium is a metal. Copper is a metal. All right, and they usually have what one cation and one anion. Very simple to identify. All right, so those are what normal salts. So now we we'll go to uh, acid salts. Acid salts. Acid salts are salts that are formed when parts. When parts. Now, now let me put that down. Salts. All right. So, what are acid salts? On the other hand, acid salts, acid salts, are salts formed when parts. Now, not all. When parts of the replaceable hydrogen ions. When part of the replaceable hydrogen ions in an acid are replaced, are replaced so that so that there are still or there is still there is still unreplaced hydrogen, right? Unreplaced hydrogen ions in the salts. All right, so this is what acid salts. Acid salts are formed when parts, when part of the replaceable hydrogen ions in an acid are replaced. Part of it is replaced, but of course they see what and all replaced what hydrogen ion inside the salt. All right, so they are very very easy to identify. Acid salts usually have hydrogen in their formula. 
they usually have what hydrogen hydrogen in that what in that compound or hydrogen in that formula or right? that easy that's way to easily what identify what acid salts and note that what mono basic salts like hydrogen iodide like hydrogen bromide sorry hydrogen bromide and mono basic salts like hr like hbro like of course even hcl hcl they do not form acid salts right they, this one they do not form acid so these are mono basic uh, mono basic acids all right these are an exception to what to forming what acid so they do not form acid salts all right so acid so usually have what hydrogen in their formula but not all these mono basic ones please take note of that so you may see in an exam condition which of the following is an acid salt because you know that acid salts usually have hydrogen in their formula you may just say ah it's hydrogen iodide it's hydrogen bromide it's hydrogen chloride that is wrong right because mono basic what acids do not form acid so these are what they are exceptions Acid so usually have what? They usually have, of course, um, the what now? They usually have what? Hydrogen in their formulas. Let's look at examples of what? Of acid salts so that when you see, come across them, you'll be able to what? To know them. One is what? NaHSO3, right? This one called sodium bisulfate. All right? This is NaHSO3 or sodium hydrogen triososulfate 4. All right, sodium hydrogen triososulfate 4. This is an example of what of an acid salt. As you can see, right, they see what an unreplaced hydrogen ion in what in this formula. All right, so this is one way to what easily identify satisfy what acid salt. Please note what the exceptions HI, uh, HBR, eh, HCL, and many other monobasic what acids. All right, they do know what form acid salt. So another example, of course, is K. HSO4. All right. This is potassium hydrogen tetraoxide of a six. All right. Potassium hydrogen tetraoxide of a six. This is an example of what of acid salt. As you can see, also they see what H and what in the formula. Let's see another one. Um, Mg ACO32. All right. This is magnesium hydrogen trioxide carbonate. Uh, trials of carbonate four. All right, this is what this is also what an acid salt magnesium hydrogen trials of carbonate four is an what acid salt. So please note them, they usually have H in their what hydrogen in their what in their formulas, and they are formed when part of the replaceable hydrogen ions in an acid are replaced so that there is still what unreplaced hydrogen in the what in the salt. All right, so if you have seen that, you are good to go. That means you can now look at the next type of salt. Which you have, which is what, of course, the basic sort. Sort is one that contains unreplaced OH group, OH group from a solution in which it is formed all right so the keyword here is what unreplaced oh group unreplaced oh group all right so a basic sort is one that contains unreplaced oh group from the solution in which it is what it is formed now one good way to easily identify basic sorts is that they have oh in their formula basic sorts usually have oh in their what in their formula now they are formed these basic sorts they are formed when basis they are formed when basis with the exception there's an exception there's an exception with the exception of mono acidic basis right basic sorts are formed when basis with the exception of mono acidic basis like of course example of mono acidic basis are what NaOH are sodium hydroxide and also what KOH potassium hydroxide they are formed when bases, with the exception of this monoacidic bases, are reacted with insufficient acid. All right, so enough acid is not what reacted with them so that they form normal salt and water. So they don't form normal salt and water because what insufficient acid is reacted with all with these bases. All right, now at that point where they are being reacted with all insufficient acid, if more of that acid is added, enough of it is added. Right, they can go for that. The reaction can go for that to form normal salt and water. But because they are usually uh, they are formed when what 
the form when they are when bases are reacted with insufficient and put out that insufficient acid because the reactor was with insufficient acid you see that what they easily they easily have what all replace OH group in their what in their formula right so and because they have what this all replace OH group in their formula it means that what they have alkaline properties they are alkaline in what they are alkaline in solution right basic salts are what are alkaline in what in solutions because they contain all replace OH group in their what in their formula all right so also because they have alkaline properties it means they have a ph they have a ph greater than what greater than seven right because they are alkaline because basic salts are alkaline solution they have ph greater than seven and they have the ability also to turn red litmus paper to blue all right so these are what basic or salt the basic salt is one that contains all the place for group from a solution in which it is formed they have oh in their formula right and we, we say that what with the exception of what this mono acidic or basis uh, basic uh, basic salt are formed when bases are reacted with insufficient acid with insufficient acid and i said that if more acid is added right enough acid is added the reaction will go to completion to form normal salt and water right and i said that what uh, because they have this all replaced OH group in their formula, it means that what they are alkaline in solution and they have a pH greater than seven and they have the ability to turn red litmus paper blue, right? So these are what basic salt. Let's see an example of basic salt, right? Example of basic salt. Remember, I told you they have OH in their formula, right? So number one, we have what Mg OHCl. This is called hydroxy magnesium chloride hydroxy hydroxy magnesium chloride all right please if you have not given this video a like that thing you are doing is very very wrong please give this video a like give it a like then subscribe to this youtube channel subscription to this channel is free is so that once you publish a new video you'll be notified on your phone that you have just released a new video and can come on to watch it all right do not forget to share the video so do not be stingy share the video to your friends share it to your class group and so on and so forth so that others can benefit now let's see so examples of what of basic salt you have what hydroxy magnesium what chloride we have another one called zinc or hydroxy zinc chloride all right so these are examples of what of basic or salt they have oh you can see evidently they have oh in their formula it is one way to what to easily what identify what basic salt all right so this is where we're going to what draw the cutting for today's class in the next episode we're going to look at complex salt and double salt and then in the last episode on acid bases and salt it, uh, acid bases and salt rather we'll talk about what how salts are formed i would like to see you in that class stay tuned